Now I will do um, a basic setup of CV Linen's Pipe and Drape Kit. This kit is an adjustable 8 to 14 feet two-piece pipe and drape set. Now this kit does come with the heavy duty bases, which is 24 by 24. They're very heavy, very durable, and great quality. Now one thing I would like to point out is their uprights, when you first get them and you unbox them, they will have a cap on the end, such as this. And I really like this because it is a way to keep your pen from sliding out. So when you remove the cap, now this is going to be the pen that you're going to actually attach to your base. Now I would not advise you to get rid of these caps because once you disassemble your unit and you go to store it away, you do want to replace the cap onto your upright so that it protects your pen from sliding out. Now, when you are about to attach your pen to your base, you want to be mindful where you're going to actually screw the hole. So if you see here, you see this particular base, you see this particular base actually has four holes. It's one here, it's one here, one here, and one here. Now primarily when you're doing backdrops, you always want to focus on the center hole. And that's where you're going to attach your pin. This is going to give you the most stability as far as safety and as far as making sure that your backdrop doesn't um, have more weight on one side than the other. So you always want to focus on the middle pin to give you even distribution as well as safety. Now, when you're using these holes along the perimeter, you'll focus on this hole if you want to go flush against the wall. So if you need your drape, maybe you're doing perimeter draping and you need your drape to be against the wall, you would use the hole closest to the wall. So when you get to the corners, if you're draping, like I said, an entire room and you get to the corner, that is when you'll use that hole. And so you can reach the corner and make sure that your drape is flush in the corner. So what you wanna do is remove your pin, remove the screw, and you wanna make sure that the side that's flat on the ground has a groove in the back. You want to make sure the groove is on the floor and that's where you stick the pin. Otherwise, if you stick the pin on the other side, it's going to protrude a little and it's not going to um, be flat on the floor. So it's going to have some wobbling and you'll hear like a, a lot of shaking and things like that. So if you hear that nine times out of 10, you put it on the wrong side. So you just want to insert your pin insert your screw and then all you're going to do is take that hole and screw it right on top of the screw now even though once you get it all the way screwed on I still would go and use a screwdriver of some sort to make sure it's tight because if it's not tight you can still get some wiggle and some play and it'll make your upright real wobbly. So after you've at attached your pen onto your base, now you just wanna take your upright and slide it directly on just like that. So once I have both uprights onto my bases, I then would extend my crossbar on the floor and I would measure my bases according to how long the length of the crossbar is. So since this is relatively a pretty tall backdrop, now I would need the help of a step stool so I can be able to reach the top. So I would just pick up my crossbar. I attach the one end. Then bring my step stool on over. and attach my other end. That is your standard um, adjustable, eight to 14 feet tall uh, backdrop. <laughs> and it's with the crossbar that's eight to 14 feet wide.